this paper is on the implementation and validation of the generic work photovoltaic and wind turbine generator models in Modulica. And this is the result of a collaborative work be between Sonofa Institute uh, for Energy Economics and Energy System Technologies. So with Marianne Ushka and Soren Lohr and RT, the French Transmission System Operator, with myself and Marianne Sergi. So the outline of the presentation will be the following one, with first introduction and motivation. Then a quick overview of uh, what we are talking about, the uh, work model for renewable energy. And then we will focus on the implementation in Modelic and the uh, validation we conduct to uh, make sure that the implementation uh, fulfills the, um, is similar to, to the original model. And I will end up with conclusions and perspectives. So, um, well, uh, having a station on energy system improves this very well, but there is a, a growing interest in the power system community for modelica modeling uh, that has been boosted by uh, several efforts, partly led by, by people around the table, and uh, it's uh, more and more used in different contexts. Uh, Modelica is also quite a language uh, adapted for power electronic dominated system simulation because it's very able to, it's very convenient to uh, do uh, quite accurate modeling in this area. Um, so the idea is to uh, try to offer uh, more and more uh, components and test cases to uh, boost the use of Modelica for power system simulation when there is a large share of uh, fee based components. So uh, for today, uh, the uh, talk is specifically on uh, uh, one uh, standard uh, generic model for stability to steady flow in renewable energy models. It's indeed the uh, Western Electric Council um, model. So uh, the idea is that, of course, you need to uh, model this component, but you, uh, it's difficult to have access to uh, the uh, exact way they behave because the uh, implementation is generally speaking treated as confidential. So there has been uh, there have been efforts in the last few years to propose different uh, uh, standard and generic models. Basically, two main efforts: one is the US with the wet model, and one in Europe with the IEC models. Uh, so today uh, we will show you the implementation and the behavior of the wet renewable energy uh, model. Uh, up to uh, our uh, knowledge is the first open source implementation in Modelica that could be run into uh, also open source Empire and, uh, open Modelica and in our, uh, in our case. And of course, the uh, implementation has been validated again to FN tools, and I will uh, come back to this later on. Uh, so if we uh, have a look to uh, the model in a general view, uh, there are basically two, three layers uh, into the model. For the uh, plant level control, which uh, manage the voltage of active power control at plant level, and that also does frequency dependent active power uh, adjustment. Then from this, uh, you go towards the electrical control, where you have a local inverter functionality, for type two, for example, uh, uh, local voltage or active form control, as well as uh, current limit uh, logic uh, that um, gives priority is objective or active power, or active current, for example. Uh, once uh, you have gone through the electrical control, then you have uh, reference current for reference active and for under active uh, current that goes to the generator model that is the latest part of, of the model and that uh, convert this uh, reference to uh, injections to the network. Uh, well, this structure is common for both photovoltaics and wind turbine models. In the case of wind turbine, you also have the possibility to add a drive train model that uh, enables to take into account water speed changes or uh, possible torsional oscillation that could uh, occur after faults or sudden uh, large changes in, in the wind chain, in the wind speed. So, um, so with a bit more detail, uh, what is inside this box? Uh, you have in the plant level control, uh, you have an active power track or channel, if I can say, uh, which is the frequency dependent active power regulation that could be activated or deactivated. And it's basically more or less uh, proportional integration uh, on the frequency deviation. You have the frequency and the pressure, and then you go through some limiters and you end up uh, in the proportional integral uh, part. Uh, you have the flag that enables to activate or deactivate um, this part of the control. For active power control, the idea is quite the same. Uh, you have also something with a 
proportional integrality uh, in the reaction that could be squeezed um, and uh, it's uh, based on a reactive power injection or a voltage depending on the type of control uh, you want to you want to have. So as, as it's a generic model, of course, you have plenty of control modes uh, that could be acted differently and that enables to to represent the world uh, uh, possibilities existing on, on, on field and uh, depending on the moment you um, you work. Uh, the electrical control is a bit more um, complex, uh, but again, it depends on uh, what what is activated and what is deactivated. You have basically two main parts in the electrical control. Um, the first one, which is calculating the uh, what um, what current from uh, the set point calculation of the current control and the current limit logic that uh, uh, calculates some the limitation that you apply at the end on your uh, reactive and active current. So for the uh, active power uh, part, again, you go through a first order action with some limitation on the power and on the deviation of the power. And uh, and that could be freeze if needed when when you have uh, when you are in, in, a, in a default case. Now for active power, uh, you have a certain number of proportional integral actions depending on the flag that you need. Uh, let's now uh, jump to uh, the modeling implementation and uh, what uh, the, the design and spirit we, we try to have uh, in this implementation. In terms of the modeling approach uh, we take, the idea was to um, to try to use both equation based when it makes sense and control structure when it makes sense too. Uh, so it ends up with uh, the main part of the control that already a control approach, uh, which are described to a diagram approach, uh, using as much as possible uh, components from the modeling standard library. And uh, when we did, we develop a few more additional blocks, but uh, keeping in mind to try them to try to keep them uh, as generic as possible so that they can be reused in, in other uh, models. And you have also a few equation based parts, uh, essentially the injector part, the voltage drop, or the country limitation logic that, um, um, that are uh, easier to model with an equation based approach. Um, it's, it's nice to, 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 to have this possibility in Modica because in uh, traditional software, such as the OSI, you either do everything in a control block approach or in an equation-based approach that you don't have um, the choice to combine. In terms of architecture, uh, the idea was, uh, as the two models are quite similar to, um, to reuse as much as possible of uh, the basic blocks again, um, so the idea was to, uh, for the models, the control parts that are identical, just develop them once, and then when they are, there are only a few differences, uh, doing basic uh, common parts and extending them to uh, end up with the final is a uh, PV model or a wind turbine model. And at the end, you, you create your final uh, model by combining the different uh, control parts that uh, we saw in the overview of the mode, the fan control, the electrical control, the generator control, and then you end up with the injector. Uh, well, just to uh, show you what, this, um, what we obtain for the plant level control, for example, so it's a, a control structure uh, using the um, uh, mainly uh, Modelica standard library. Uh, on this uh, image, only the um, the redeveloped blocks are, are highlighted in blue. So for the world control, for the world plant level control, only three blocks have been uh, are not from the uh, Modelica standard library uh, because we needed to either uh, freeze the, the uh, proportional integral action uh, or uh, because it was more uh, equation based. Uh, uh, Again, another illustration of the design uh, now for the uh, electrical control. Um, what you see here is um, the final control for uh, the TV model, if I'm right, or the instrument controller. Um, anyway, uh, all the blocks that are not uh, in the green part uh, or part of the common basis model. So uh, only for the wind turbine uh, final model, you add uh, these four small parts, but otherwise everything is in a common basis and you just extend uh, the basic model to uh, end up with uh, your final TV or uh, wind turbine model. Uh, the last uh, example uh, I wanted to, to show you is uh, the implementation of the four tried through uh, logic for the wind turbine governor. 
for the wind turbine generator. So it's uh, kind of a state machine uh, in terms of modeling spirit. And uh, in our case, at the moment, we uh, have modeled, modeled it with an algorithm approach. Uh, so that was quite, con quite convenient to model uh, such uh, behavior. Uh, we will now see the uh, simulation done from the results obtained and the comparison with uh, either with different reference tools. So um, we use uh, in this work two reference tools. The first one is uh, indeed from the EPRI organism and is the renewable energy model validation tool. Uh, what, uh, what is uh, nice with this tool is that it has been itself validated against realism. And so it means that if your simulation results are similar to the tool that is similar to the real medium, and you, you end up uh, uh, by seeing my, my implementation is uh, really uh, similar results than what you can have uh, on the field. The second uh, tool used was uh, implementation of uh, this model in Power Factory from the Signal. Uh, and I will uh, explain it why uh, we also added this, this part. So, um, the, sim the validation has been done on a uh, small system with uh, basically the uh, generator models and the step-up transformers and the short line, another transformer, and finally an infinite uh, bus. They have been conducted uh, essentially with uh, Open Modelica uh, and also with, uh, with Dinaro. And the uh, event simulation scenario is a voltage dip, uh, so uh, a decrease of the voltage at T equal 1.2 seconds, and then a frequency uh, increase uh, later on in the simulation. Just to remind you, I also uh, put on the right part of the slide the uh, different um, control modes. So just to, uh, to remind you that depending on uh, the Boolean you activate or deactivate, you have a different uh, overall behavior of, of the model. Is a, a, a plant level Q control, for example, a plant level V control or plant level Q control with local coordinated VQ control. Uh, so if you really want to validate intensively your model, you need to go through most uh, or even all uh, this control mode and, and make sure that uh, you go through all the uh, control paths and all the control tracks to be sure that your, your model behaves correctly. So the first uh, results or uh, the results obtained again the pre validation tool. Uh, so you have you have two examples. In the last part, uh, you have the results when you um, for the simulation with the control mode number one, which corresponds to plant level two control. So what you see is that when you have the voltage dip, uh, you have a, a decrease in terms of uh, active power uh, because the priority in the um, the uh, control is to active power to support uh, the voltage. So at the same time, uh, the active power is increasing when the, while the, the active power is decreasing. Uh, and then when you uh, um, get rid of the voltage dip, uh, you come back to steady state with a certain dynamic. Uh, then at six, you have the event on the frequency. Uh, you don't see any impact on the active power. And you see, of course, as there is uh, um, an impact on the active power that is adjusted that is adjusted to um, to accommodate with the frequency deviation. Uh, after you clear the frequency deviation, uh, you end up you, you come back to steady state. In the middle, it's the same uh, model, but with another control mode uh, number four, which means uh, plant level with V control with local coordinated VQ control. So you see that uh, it doesn't change anything on the active power. The active power control is not affected by uh, by the, the choice of this control mode, but uh, on the um, reactive power, you see that uh, the final steady state, which is not exactly the same after the voltage dip, uh, you end up in a, a, a slightly different uh, final voltage because the uh, electrical control is adapting itself uh, following the action of the plant, of the plant control. On the right, you. Uh, you see the results for uh, still control mode number four, but for the wind turbine generator model, uh, it's quite the same behavior as for the photovoltaic uh, model. The main difference is uh, in the oscillations you see after the voltage dip that correspond to uh, torsional oscillations that are represented by the um, by the tri drive time model part that is not available uh, that doesn't exist uh, in the uh, PV model. 
Uh, then here you also have a, a, a plot for uh, validation against power factory. Uh, the idea behind uh, also doing an, a validation against power factory is that um, there were discussions in the uh, WEC, uh, WEC um, committees about the interface that should be should that should be with, uh, taken from uh, interfacing the model and the network was first uh, current source interface, and then uh, they wanted to um, to include a voltage source interface, but the people is not able to 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 have this while uh, power factory is, is able to model this. So in this case, we um, we also did uh, this modification in Modelica. It's very fast forward to go from voltage source to current source or current source to voltage source, and we compared the results uh, against power factory, and again, it, it matches very well. Uh, well, uh, to end up, uh, we can see that we have an open source implementation of the generic both WEC PV and point of generator models. It uh, it will be it is it under review. Uh, um, I mean, the development is under review, but it will be available on GitHub on the Dinero project repository that's been validating uh, against both uh, Power Factory and the pre tool that has been itself validated against in, uh, measurements. And uh, it shows that it's quite uh, easy and straightforward to uh, do so, this kind of model in Modelica. So our ambition now in the future is to uh, still work in this direction and, and provide further uh, open source models uh, for uh, PE-based component simulation in Modelica. So we uh, currently have an effort internally in RT to uh, develop and finalize the IEC uh, wind turbine model that should be available open source soon too. And then we, will, we would like to uh, work together with partners on, on, on and to compare both standard models, try to modify them a bit and see uh, what it implies in terms of uh, converter driven and study the phenomena. So thank you for uh, your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.